Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. Why did we need to screen wipe that? <laughs> I'm curious to take Yuri to talk to Yuri for a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. That's porn. <laughs> More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for the split for a split second. Ellipsis. <laughs> but that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her feel uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed... If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading bits of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread it, some, some of it. Not for any particular reason. That's a fucking lie. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> Just curious. How come you two, you have two copies of the same book? She got, she clearly, she told you she went out to get it for you. Well, when I stopped by the bookstore yesterday, and, and that's, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. I believe that it. you're a fucking liar. No, there's, man, I believe it. <laughs> there's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. You're not even gonna like think about it introspectively or anything. Come on, man. We, I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once, once it starts to pick pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. <laughs> That's what she said. Am I right? Oh, I shouldn't make those jokes. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? Well, it's about... What's it about, anyway? Well... Mmm... Fucking... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled... P P <laughs> Portrait of Makarov. Markov. Is that a real thing? That kind of don't look it up. It will it will spoil the game. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna look it okay. up. Okay. Okay. Um, there's an an ominous looking looking symbol on the front cover. Okay, I guess I can tell you this: is the that that it's there the there's suspicion that the next game that this studio makes is gonna be called that. Hmm. That's really all it. Is, I, I, it doesn't really spoil the game, but if you were to look up that game, it probably would say something about this game. But anyway, alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in <laughs> with her long-lost younger sister, and she meets a vampire and they fall in love. Oh, I, I had a button. Oh, I read that book. <laughs> Twilight? <laughs> That's the joke, because it's That's Twilight. But as soon as she as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape, escaped from a human experiment, experiment prison. And while her, her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story so that the the dark turn came out of nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. 
Are you not a fan of this this sort of thing, Bright Dog? <laughs> sort of like your. No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Because she's a freak, you know what I'm saying? What? Wait, you never heard that? What was no? You never heard that? <laughs> it's just, it's just <laughs> the, the kinds of, it's just these kinds of stories. They challenge you to look at the life of, through a, from a strange pers news perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophies that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you when you thought you were relatable to the protagonist, there, Jesus Christ, it's hard reading both dialogues. Yeah, of, like my both of my characters are talking to each other. They're they're made out to be the naive one letting their own one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Um, I I'm rambling, aren't I? A little bit. Not again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should be sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest in anything. I just all of a sudden got the urge to just put Babe in Bray Dog sentences. Mm -hmm. No problem, Babe. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I, I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Is it is it sex madness? Yes. <laughs> when, when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really... Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's just... That just means that you're passionate about reading. The least thing, the least I can do is listen. It's literature club after all. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading, right? You don't have to. Ah, uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said that you were looking forward to it. Ellipsis. Let me get... Perfect. Let me just get the book. I quickly retire the book... Uh, the book I had and put it in my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to her. Oh, yeah. You're getting into the close proximity. Hey, what's up, shy girl? <laughs> ah, yeah. Are you sure? Y you, you seem a little apprehensive. Just say no, girl. Th that's, uh... No, I'm sorry. That's not... That's not... I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to, because I've never Did talked I to another person. miss something? Probably. Well, like, he's... She's... Oh. The, the thing is that, that he is like shown interest in the thing that she's very passionate about. So that's like getting to her like, you know, her feelings a little bit. So now she's like, oh, caught, like she's caught off guard by how all of a sudden, you know, she's like getting interested because you're interested in something she's passionate about. And now you're just like, hey, can I sit next to you? And you're like, and she's like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you know what I mean? doesn't know how yeah. to react. That is reading in company with somebody. I see. <laughs> well, just just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Oh, all right. Open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her Oops, sorry. presence over my shoulder. I'm guessing is what was said. Yeah. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is some somewhat uncom comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I didn't realize. I realized then she's not actually looking at her own book. 
I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. I was just... You, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Don't you know? I, I, I do? I, I don't really mean to. This is sorry. I mean... Ah, ha, 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 ha. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk... I slide my... <laughs> I slide my desk up against Yuri's and then hold my book more in between the two of us. <laughs> All right, you know what I'm saying? I'm sliding that desk up in there. Anyway, ah... Uh, uh. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once once we each lean a little bit, our shoulders almost touching, it feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, damn. Yuri takes her left Ooh. arm and holds it, holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. That real pretty fingers, girl. <laughs> I do the same, same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it. Sorry. It does not matter. I'm so like I'm so I'm reading so poorly by this point. <laughs> but in holding it like this, we're hu <laughs> hurtled, huddled, huddled, huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Get a because I'm not used to touching girls at all. It's as if I can feel the warmth from Yuri's face. <laughs> Damn, that's that's fucking close. Wow. Yeah, and she's. <laughs> She's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second with my raging fucking boner. <laughs> I glanced over at Yuri's face again. Our eyes meet. Hopefully she hasn't noticed my boner yet. I don't know how how I'll be able to keep her, keep up with her. Ah. That's okay. Able to keep it hidden. <laughs> you're, not, you're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. I'm a little second here. Man, Yuri's yawning a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Since, Do you need a nappy, Yuri? <laughs> since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it on my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning the page almost feels like an immense exchange, an, in an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. God, that's that? romantic. Oh, that—that's me. I keep on like sliding to the edge of the futon, and then it like makes a pop noise. Ah, Yuri. Oh, hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but Ooh. the main character—the main character of this reminds me of you a little bit. Perfect, Brady. How the fuck did Damn I do it, that? Brady? <laughs> Come on, dude. Y you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid of, like afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. Ah, I see. You're. <laughs> But Braydog! So what I keep doing is I'll read it and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. And then I'll click <laughs> through it. That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, this is so embarrassing that you think like that. Whoa, wait, wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really don't 
No, you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Spoiler alert, he totally Whoops. did. <laughs> <laughs> I guess... I guess... I'm fucking it up. <laughs>